What's up guys, it's Bye 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 here and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. The Commander Suri. In this Suri, I will go over each Commander one by one. I will tell you everything you need about the Commander. Uh, overall score, strength and weaknesses, minimal requirement to be usable, talent tree, best possible Commander pairing, and my uh, final thought on the Commanders. For today's video, I will be feature featuring John DeVark, the most underrated Commander on the open field. Not many players want to use her because of her lack of DPS. However, most people don't understand how important it is to have her present on the battlefield. Joan de Vark is by far the best support commander in the game right now. So let's start with her overall score. So for Joan de Vark, she has attack score of 2.5, defense score of 3, and support score of 5. So her total score is 10.5. A very high score for an epic commander. Uh, her support score can be a lot higher depending on how many marches you can buff. Her score for support is 5, which is based on the average of 5 marches that she can buff when her skill activated. But uh, doing in a mass PvP, she can buff a lot more and her score can go a lot higher. So, what are Joan of Arc's strengths and weaknesses? Strength? She is by far the best support commander in the game. There's no like no argue about it. Uh, if you check at the top tier player in Sunset Canyon in your kingdoms, you will see that all of them using Joan de Vark, like all of them. Uh, so let's go take a look at my kingdom, Sunset Canyon, right now, and let's look at the top Sunset Canyon player, uh, Joan de Vark here with Constantine. Joan de Vark here with Constantine. Again, Joan de Vark. Um, Joan of Arc here again. Joan of Arc here again. Joan of Arc. Richard, Joan of Arc here. Joan of Arc being used here again. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. So just go to the top 10 player in My Kingdom Sunset Canyon. You can see like she being used. And look at these guys play like power 68 million power, 95 million power. 79 million power, 100 million power. Like all these guys, they probably have a, a lot of legendary commanders. Like why didn't they use legendary commander? Why did they use Joan of Arc instead of legendary commander? Well, she is that good. Like she is amazing. That's why they using her. Like I am using her myself. Uh, one of my march a Constantine of Joan of Arc in Sunset Canyon. She just has that like amazing buff. Um, So, like, Joan of Arcs is, like, one of the most bring commander on into, like, a big fight, especially in KVK mass PvP. You need to have her. Um, so, what are Joan of Arc weaknesses? Um, so, her weaknesses, uh, including is that she doesn't do a lot of uh, damages. Uh, she doesn't have any skill damages. So she doesn't have very high DPS. She also doesn't have a lot of defense stats. Um, but like, you cannot have it all, right? Like you cannot have a, a high DPS and tanky support. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Her main role is support and her support score is very, very high. Uh, that's what she excel at. So, Let's go into her talent tree and let's see what can you use. So I have this talent tree from long time ago, but um, here's one of the talent trees that I would recommend you to use. Um, so you want to spend a lot of points on her support talent tree, uh, especially uh, rejuvenate, very, very good, like re restore 150 rage whenever, you, whenever a skill you use. The crazy rage engine for support talent tree here. Um, you also want to get the counter attack uh, uh, skill right here because Joan of Arc has a healing ability. So anytime she heal, you will get that uh, nine percent attack uh, attack boots. Uh, there are some uh, skill damage taken reduction, very very good for for support march here. Um, so emergency protection 
this skill is very, very good in mass PvP where you're taking a lot of like AoE skill damages. So this skill can kick in very, very frequently and you can uh, take less damage uh, in uh, mass PvP. Uh, Cage of the Torn is a skill, you only need one point in this skill because you just need that slow effect. It doesn't, you don't need it to have a very, very strong effect. As long as it has a slow effect, it's good enough. Um, you want to use this skill, you want to put one point in this skill if you're planning to use Jon the Vark with Air 12 Flat. Other than that, you don't really need it. So put one point in this skill if you want to use it with uh, Air 12 Flat. Um, on the integration talent tree, uh, you want to get the fresh recruit, which you can bring, uh, can get you that extra 3% troop capacity. So you last longer on the open field, more troop equal, equal last longer. Um, you want to go on the left side of the integration talent tree because you want more defense. So uh, when army led by this commander contain three or more different unit types, all damage taken is reduced by uh, 4%. So very, very good for a support mark. You need to be able to uh, take less damages. Um, you don't want to go on the right side because you don't care too much about it, dealing damages, right? Because you're a support. You're not there to deal damages. You're there to to last as long as you can and to provide the buff. And so extra are uh, the points you want to put in uh, here, pretty good too. Uh, increase march speed by 3%. And you want to put a little bit more into defense so more march speed can uh, get you a little bit more mobility. You can actually run away uh, from like, a swarm. So when you're playing a support role, you don't want to put yourself in position where you getting attacked by multiple uh, marches from the enemy. So when you see that a cross saw icon, a like flashing red screen, you want to check it and when you, you want to pull back your marches. So more march speed can help a lot. So help you get away from the enemy. I think I also put three point in this note right here, which can get you like nine percent more march speed as well. Uh, mobility can very, very can be very, very good for a support march. So that is her talent tree. Uh, I will post this talent tree on my Discord channel in case you want to look at it uh, further, or you can just take a snapshot from here. Um, all right. So for commander pairing, uh, two best. Pairing right now for Jon the Vark is Constantine and Jon. The best support march in the game right now. Amazing buff. Uh, the second best is uh, Richer and Jon. Very good debuff. Very good support. And uh, lasts very, very long on the open field. You don't need to do a lot of damages. All you have to, to do is just be there and uh, debuff the enemy marches and provide that amazing buff from Jon the Vark. Um, 30% health for infantry, 30% defense for cavalry, and 30% attack for archer. It's just amazing. Um, and uh, so those are the two best possible march uh, pairing for Joan de Vark. Other pairing you can do is you can do uh, Joan de Vark and uh, Richer, or Joan de Vark and Eto Flat. Let's say if you like beginner, you don't have a lot of golden stars to level up your legendary commander, one thing you can do is level up your Jon to level 60, uh, get your Richard to level 30 or something, and then you can put Richard as a secondary commander. So you have Jon uh, primary and uh, Richard as a secondary. You can also do the same thing with Airtow Flare. Let's say you're a beginner, you don't have a lot of golden stars. You can just invest into like all the legendary commanders at the beginning. So you want to keep your Airtow Flare at like level 30 or something, and then you can put her as a secondary commander after Jondavark. So you can get Jondavark to level 60 and use her as a primary. And then Etoflet as secondary. A very, very good pairing for a support march as well. Um, other possible decent pairing, commander pairing is um, Joan and uh, Belisarius. You can use uh, Cavalry. So we have Joan and Belisarius. Where is he? So here. So Belly Serious provide good amount of debuff. And he also have a very, very good defense stats for um, cavalry. So if you want a little bit more like march speed, uh, a little bit more like fast, a faster march, you can use Joan of Arc and Belly Serious as a cavalry, uh, using cavalry on the battlefield. 
good option for like providing support and debuff as well. Uh, other option is you're gonna use uh, Pelagius as a primary and Joan of Arc as secondary. So that the second pairing for Caravi using Epic Commanders. Um, so Pelagius, Pelagius and uh, Joan of Arc, that's your second option. Uh, you can also use Joan of Arc and uh, Sapio. Uh, Zundaberg and Sapio. Sapio is tanky, uh, pretty very very tanky for every commander. So you can use her and uh, Sapio using mixed troops. And your ju your goal is not to deal damage, right? As I said before, your goal using Zundaberg is to provide support. So Sapio is a very very good option for her because Sapio can help Zundaberg march last a lot longer on the open field, can allow her to take in a lot of damages. Uh, another very, very good march is uh, Joan of Arc and uh, Sanzu. Sanzu, again, a very versatile commander. You can use him with uh, Joan of Arc as well if you want to. Uh, Joan of Arc with that like crazy rage engine, plus with Sanzu, like, also very, very high rage engine as well. You can cast the, you can cast the buff a lot faster and you can cast Joan, uh, Sanzu skill much, much faster. So if you have Joan of Arc, uh, her active skill grant additional 50 rage per second for 4 seconds, so that 200 rage. Um, you also have a uh, Sanzu, also have that um, additional 50 rage for each target hit by, by this skill. So if you put the two commander together, the rage engine got be to the roof. Uh, you got cast your skill very, very frequently. So Joan of Arc can cast the, the buff much, much faster. With Sanzu, tanky, like you can use infant, a lot of infantry with it, Marsh, like 10% damage reduction, 10% infantry health bonus, a very, very good uh, support Marsh, which do a decent amount of AoE skill damages. So, though, as a commander pairing for Joan of that I suggest you to try to use. Um, all right, so next, let's talk about some history about Joan of Arc. Um, a lot of Players don't know that don't know like that was a hit story about Joan of Arc. So uh, when the game just released, her four skill used to be twenty five percent damage reduction. She was godlike, like even Richard couldn't hold a hand. Um, even Richard couldn't, couldn't hold a candle up there. Man, she was so good that Lilith nerfed her, and instead of making her 25% damage reduction, they chain it to 25% uh, attack damage bonus. I mean, like, I was very, very upset back then when they nerfed her because I love, I, I was using Jodavark all the time back in the day. Uh, like, I, I almost rage quit back then because <laughs> they just nerfed her for no reason because she was just too good. Um, but yeah, so that was a little history behind Joan of Arc. If some of you, like beginner player or new players, you do not know, her fourth skill used to be super good, like 25% uh, damage reduction. Man, even like more tankier than a Richard with like her crazy rage engine. Man, back in the day, I think my favorite uh, pairing was uh, Joan of Arc and Richard, and then she just doesn't die. I think, I think the amount of damage reduction from the two commanders together was so high. That's why they nerf her. But yeah, I, it was, it was, I mean, like, they could have changed, do something else. But uh, she was still very good in my opinion. But uh, she was godlike back in the day. But now she's still very good. I know, like, she is very underrated on the open field. Uh, I don't see a lot of people using her. but. Um, as you can see, I show you guys what uh, people using using in Sunset Canyon, right? So she is very, very good. She is like one of my favorite commander to bring to open field whenever I can. Like if you watch some of my videos where I fire using fire marches, I always bring her out. Like I just love to have her provide buff for my marches, even if it just like, even if I just fight by myself using five marches, I bring her. Five marches is enough to just bring out another support march there. Uh, 
So if you use Joan of Arc, you got to be smart. Uh, fight where the most of your alliance member, you go there. Uh, don't use Joan of Arc soloing a march that far away from your alliances member. Uh, your main job is to provide buff. So your job is not to kill. You are there to provide that amazing buff for everyone in your alliance. So don't play aggressively if you use her. Uh, we don't want you to tank with Joan. We want you to stay behind and keep keep like, buffing everybody. So that's some tips for people who want to use Joan of Arc. Uh, definitely consider to bring her on the open field. If you are like a free-to-play player, someone who doesn't have a lot of like legendary commanders, she is a very, very good option for you to bring to the open field and contribute to your kingdom or your alliance. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.